If you watched Game of Thrones or read those thick behind novels and House Bolton was your favorite house, then this is the this is the video for you. Let's overanalyze their sigil in all its meaning. And let's remember for the most part, each house has a sigil that's really important to them. Like up north, the Starks have the dire wolf, the Manderleys have the merman, the Umbers have the giant break and change, the Carstarks have the sunburst sun, and, and then we have the Boltons. Their official sigil is the flayed man. This is the individual that has had his skin completely removed from their body. And that is not how the human body is supposed to work. But why such a crazy sigil? That makes us remember that this is a crazy behind house. They have been the forever enemies to House Stark. For centuries and centuries when House Stark did something, House Bolton kind of did the opposite. They wanted to be the most powerful house in the region and they wanted to rule over everything. They were known as the Red Kings. But if the sigil tells you anything about the house, would you want these people representing you? I don't think so. I, I do not think so. Then you remember all this skin changing and warging and how ingrained that was in the first man community? The religion of the old gods, that is considered a gift to the highest status. Not so much in the modern day Westeros, but way, way back in the day below the wall, people revered and feared the power that these wargs and skin changers had. And in the prologue of book five, we learned that one of the major no-nos of being a skin changer is you're never supposed to take the body of another human. It's a violation to the highest degree. If you just think about it for a second, you're literally entering someone's mind, most likely someone unwilling, someone that doesn't want you there. And you're entering their body, taking over them, controlling them. That ain't right, people. A violation to the highest degree. And it's extremely hard and few people can even do something like that. But way back in the ancient times of Westeros, when magic was at its peak, what if people could more readily skin change? What if people could more readily enter the bodies of another person, take over their mind, take over their soul, use them to infiltrate the enemy? They literally wearing the skins. What if this was a time where people fully didn't understand the magic of what it meant to war, what it meant to enter into another animal or another person's mind? And you just know that your enemy is inside your friend, inside your comrade, inside your family member. You're the leader of House Bolton and you're willing to do anything to expose your enemy. Reveal the person who has taken over someone you care about to infiltrate your kingdom. What would you be willing to do? Maybe you have captured them. Maybe you do have them confined, but is that enough? They try to tell you that someone had entered their mind, entered their body, but now they are gone. They are free of the burden. Can you truly really trust them? Or would you slowly peel their skin away to reveal the monster that's inside of them? Reveal the thing that tried to corrupt their mind and body to portray them, to portray, uh, oh, word stumble, to portray House Bolton. We know there are enemies wearing people's skins. We see the faceless man of brothels literally wearing the faces of, of people either they've killed or they got their body and took their face somehow. House Bolton is on the side of Westeros. That's, I mean, this is not the closest to Bravos, but it's, it's close enough. Close enough to know that people can do this crazy faceless stuff. And they probably just like being mean to people. There's a good chance they did just enjoy being mean to people. But let me know, was my analyzing, analysis in? Did I, did I go off too far? Let, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, you got to make sure you like it. You got to favorite. You got to leave a comment. And you got to make sure you following me. And let me know, is there any other house, big or small, that I need to overanalyze?